the most memorable funeral that I've helped plan? There's so many. That's that's a really hard question to answer. But one or two that stick in my mind is my friend, who was very young, came in to plan a funeral with her partner. They had some money, so they wanted to do a, pre- a prepayment plan. We went over everything. She knew exactly what she wanted. And after a while, um, she became ill, so she had an operation. And sadly, she passed away only nine months later. All of her funeral, to put it into perspective of only talking about it, really did hit me because I still have to remain professional, but as well as grieve at the same time. So that one will always stick in my mind. And also the little things that I know she would have been laughing at that she'd always mentioned that she wanted. So the most memorable funeral I've helped plan is for a young lady who died tragically young. She was into all things princessy and she had a princess dress, a wicker coffin with flowers. And when I walked into the crematorium, I was accompanied by a unicorn. It was a, a big occasion with lots of people there. It was a really big funeral and with the unicorn and the flowers and the car, it was everything that she would have wanted. Thinking about the most memorable funeral I've helped someone plan is really difficult because uh, so many of them are really stick with you and they, they really stick with me. But I think the most memorable one that I would say recently was a really sad funeral for a, a woman who was killed in a car crash. She was a young woman um, cycling home from work with a young family, kids at home. And uh, it's one of the, the great things that, that we're able to do in this industry is, is help people build something that's really unique for them. And it's particularly hard to think about how to engage children in funerals and especially young children and especially at such a tragic death. It's one thing for children to come to the death of a, a grandparent who might have died relatively peacefully in old age. It's very different when actually it's their mother in their 30s. And what was really memorable about that was the way that we were able to empower the family to, to do exactly what they needed. Nothing about that funeral was, was conventional. It was completely personal to that woman, that family and those children. And that will really stay with me. I think every funeral has its own memories for different reasons. But when I was asked this question, the funeral that came straight to mind was of a lady I went out to see before she died that wish was that at her funeral, her life story was told, um, of which her two daughters and nobody else knew about. And she gave me her life story, which was very sad, very tragic and very upsetting. Made me cry, it made her daughters cry. She didn't die for a few months after that. As soon as I knew she was, she'd passed away, I knew that this was going to turn people's lives around. It made me feel honoured that she'd entrusted me with this information, but also proud because she wanted her story told and she wanted to be at peace that her story had been told before she died. And that's what I did. The daughters were fully aware of it. They agreed that it should be told. And that's what we did. 